Hello, Micro here. Today using Adobe Premiere Pro CS4, I'll show you how to take a lower resolution video file, such as a DVD which is 720 by 480, and upscale it to 1920 by 1080, which is true high definition. Now, this is just for YouTube purposes. This won't actually turn your DVD file into an HD or Blu-ray video. It'll just make it be able to go full screen through YouTube and be higher quality. So let's go ahead and start with a new project. I'll go ahead and name this project Upscale. And all of these presets here are just fine, so we'll go ahead and press OK. Now what we have here is we have some presets for making DVD videos or HD videos, but I like to make my own because it's simpler. So we go up here to General, and under Editing Mode, we'll choose Desktop. This doesn't mean that we're going to save our video file to the desktop. This just means that it, we're going to preview the file format in Microsoft AVI Compatibility Mode. Time Base, that's just basically how many frames per second. Now, especially dealing with YouTube, you don't need a lot of frames per second. And 23 to 25 works great. I'll just choose 23. Frame Size. True HD is 1920 horizontal by 1080 vertical. So if this isn't in here, just go ahead and type it on in. Audio sample rate, anywhere from 32,000 to 48,000 should be fine. I'll just go with 44,000. Down here we have the sequence name. Since this is just a demonstration, we'll only be using one sequence. So we'll just leave that alone and press OK. Here we're going to go ahead and import a DVD video. I just like to drop and drag. There we go. We'll move it over to our source working panel. And let me get to a good scene here. There we there we go. So first I'll put in this uh, start set point marker. And we'll end the video right about there with the stop set point marker. I'm just going to grab the video because that's all that we're dealing with right now. Pull it down into our timeline. And as you can see over here on the right in our work panel, this video is actually pretty small. This is just how it's going to show up in YouTube. You're going to have the black bars all the way around it. Sure, it'll look good, but you're going to have to get real close to the monitor to see it. So this is quite easy to fix. You just simply click on the video, and you see how we now have this box all the way around it. You just grab the box and drag. Now you do want to be careful. Uh, we have this black border that we can deal with so we can go a little bigger, but watch out for the sides to make sure that they stay where they should be inside this black work area. Oops. And if we get off a little bit, we can always just shrink and resize and move around a little bit and call it good. Now the video won't actually look as poor as it does in this output source file. This is just a rough draft quality to keep from using all your system resources. So now we can go over here to File, Export, Media. And now we have our settings here to deal with. Uh, the format that we should be looking at here should be H.264. That's one of the better qualities that um, YouTube will actually take. Most of this is adjusted pretty well. We'll just go down here, make sure that we have our frame width set at 1920, our height at 1080. If it isn't, you can just simply click it and drag to the right or left, or highlight it, and type in the numbers that we're looking for. Now, as you can see down here, it's just a 15 megabyte file, which isn't bad at all, and it's still going to be good quality. But let's grab the scroll bar and come down here and look at another setting. Now to keep your bit, your target bit rate to make your quality very good and yet still not take up too much, inform too much information to be a large file to upload, anywhere from 6 to 7 is a great size to use. It still gives you high quality. You don't notice the low quality until you drop below 6. And if you get much over 7, YouTube isn't going to notice the, the difference in quality. 
So just right there is great, and hit OK. And now you can just start the queue. And when this video is done exporting, if you didn't know where you saved it to, you can always just hover right over the output source. It tells you exactly where to go to find it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it useful.